Hey, what's up guys? John here. I'm in downtown LA. I'm going to give you a tour and uh, it is, it's unreal compared to what this city was just three years ago, what they've done to it I and mean, everything. And I'm just, I haven't walked down this street yet, but look at this. Everything is absolutely just destroyed. It is, it's unreal how fast the deterioration is ramping up here. I mean, I'm looking across the street right now. It, it it's uh, the intentional destruction of downtown LA. I was driving on the 10, I got off the 10 because I saw three skyscrapers. I'm gonna have my editor put in the skyscrapers. Three skyscrapers that were all being ripped apart, destroyed, uh, and allowed by the city. But what's, what's shocking that many people don't realize is when people are building a skyscraper, when people are building real estate, what, oh wow, <sighs> look at this. Look at that. Look at this. When people are building a skyscraper, they're spending millions of dollars in permit fees, spending millions of dollars in construction crews, architects, engineers, all of this money. They buy the land, and then on top of them buying the land, they increase the value of that land, building all those units, building taxpayer revenue, all funding for the city. Look at that, look at that building behind us. <laughs> look at this one. Look at that. Look at this. This is a this is a business right here. This is a business. And I'm gonna give you this walk and talk tour and talk to you about this because that downtown LA property that's being destroyed, it's a staple and it's a testament as to what it means to invest in real estate in Los Angeles, in downtown LA. You know, there's some nice areas, sure. Look at this. This is a third world country. This is a third world country. Also, before I even, you know, get into this uh, video, please hit the like button. Hit the like button. YouTube will share the content, educate more people about what's really going on in America's economy, the real America. And uh, if you like to fix your credit, we'd love to help you at my company, GreatCreditFast.com. Uh, look at that. Uh, if you have late payments, medical bills, charge offs, foreclosures, bankruptcies, repossessions, any issue at all on your credit report, go to GreatCreditFast.com. Click the link in the description just below this video. Schedule a free call for tomorrow. This building. Look at that building. And so when you see this and you see the record high vacancies, I mean, who wants to open a business in downtown LA? Who wants to rent an apartment? You have a record high vacancies in uh, multifamily apartments as well. It's because, you know, when I, I used to live in uh, near downtown LA, we used to take the Metro. When my son, Jonathan was, uh, he's four now, but when he was one, one and a half, we take the Metro and uh, we'd get off at the downtown LA stop. We'd go to this restaurant every day. It felt safe. We used to walk around all over LA, go to the bank, go to the grocery store, go to Whole Foods, you know, and, uh, and it was a nice experience. And then, uh, you know, fast forward a couple years, I would not take my son to downtown LA. No chance, no chance, it's not safe. It's not safe coming downtown LA, I mean, you're seeing people shooting up drugs and you're seeing all of this stuff that uh, just wasn't in your face a year, two years, three years ago. Now it's, it's prevalent. It's literally here. It's all over the place. Like it's, uh, it feels like, you know, you would, you would get robbed walking in certain areas during the daylight, during the daytime, right? And uh, I don't know if you can see all that, build another construction site. All the graffiti on the side of that building. And so when you see this, and then you understand, I'm gonna show you this over here, and then you understand what they are actually doing in LA, you'll understand the real state of what's happening to American cities. What they really wanna do is they wanna bring these cities down to their knees to completely change everything. You know, I went to this coffee shop here two days ago or yesterday. Um, it's called Wake and Latte. They have, uh, you know, burritos and, you know, breakfast burritos and stuff like that. And uh, I'll let my editor throw a picture of this orange juice we got. It was $7.88 and it looked like a double shot. Like it's, it was so small. It was literally like this big, $7.88. Two breakfast burritos. I got a nice vanilla latte. My wife got the orange juice. It was almost 50 bucks. It was almost $50. And you look at this. 
and they're like this is where it was or uh, where the restaurant is but they're closed now but it was just urine it was absolutely disgusting all up top there and so you see what's happening to american cities what i believe is going to be unfolding is uh we're going to see this spread ac across many parts of california you know after we left downtown la yesterday my wife's like oh we should go check out laguna beach because laguna beach will be a really really nice uh, place maybe we get an airbnb for a month or two and um and kind of check out laguna so we go to parks and stuff um kind of check out the area and my uh my dad has the kids right now as we're on this trip and uh we go to this couple parks i go to the bathroom in the bathroom look at this that's for lease if anybody wants to open up a business here right um if uh we go to the bathroom or i go to the bathroom and there's cardboard blocking the little peak hole in the uh, in the stall and then you can see the the cardboard all the way at the bottom and then you hear this guy you know ruffling feathers everywhere or like it feels like he's like ruffling around and uh there was a homeless guy doing drugs in the bathroom in laguna beach in like a nice suburban area they just i guess painted over the graffiti here and so you see that you realize that's laguna and then we go to the uh, to the main strip in laguna homeless people i saw like three four homeless people inside of a couple block radius a three four block radius across from the park right there in laguna a beautiful beautiful top tier section of laguna more graffiti and then so when you when you're seeing this spread of this you understand what this is going to do when they reduce the likelihood of getting committed for crimes with uh with breaking the law and they allow behavior like this what this is ultimately going to do is going to instigate further bad behavior you know it's going to push away a lot of investors it's going to push away a lot of capital like those buildings i showed or had my editor put in the video here those three skyscrapers when those skyscrapers when they're spending tens of millions you know probably 50 80 100 million or more it's three skyscrapers right they're probably spending a couple hundred million dollars building out these skyscrapers and the city lets people destroy it what that basically signals to every single investor is that their money's not good here you know what that signals to business owners is that we're, you're not protected here you're not protected here it's going to be basically a free-for-all and uh and uh it's a sad sad situation in downtown la you know when we drove by this property that we sold here a couple of years ago we perfectly timed the market in la it was interest rates are record lows you know uh, a lot of people thought rents were going to go to like i don't know four or five grand for a one bedroom in that area and um and when we we drove by that area yesterday the gates all graffitied out front the uh it looks like the tenants trash the place i mean it looks it looks like a completely different property and i'm like you know what it was a good move selling that property and getting out of la because uh we would have probably gotten screwed look at this look at that skyscraper back there i don't know if you can see it all the way at the top it's like yellow or, or no it's more like a a light green right where my finger is right there and uh that's the top of somebody's building sky or uh it's like a mid-rise it looks like a five five story building or so but the graffiti looks like it's 10 or 12 feet uh, tall by maybe 70 feet 80 feet in length probably more more businesses closed boarded up you know <clears throat> and to me what i think we're likely going to see here is we're going to continue to see the erosion of these downtown cities la san francisco i was talking to a uh, a good friend of mine she was one of my first clients as a real estate agent and uh when i was an agent in beverly hills and she was a really nice house in a really nice area and i'm like hey i'm in downtown la and driving through la this place is a dump and she was said uh yeah you know what i'm a, i'm afraid to even go back to my house into like these areas and kind of spend time there it doesn't make sense to do it because uh you know the city's just basically falling apart and she has this property look at look at this building right she has this property it's sitting completely vacant because she's afraid to rent it because she thinks if she did and the tenant is incentivized essentially to not pay rent and to abuse the system they are going to uh she's going to be walking into a situation that's going to be far worse than if she just left her property vacant 
So having a property that she could rent for, look at this. Look at this building. Look at that building. Absolutely crazy. Having a property that she could rent for a lot of money, she's not going to rent it because she knows that it would work out very poorly for her. Um, and I think many people right now in, in LA are in that survival mode and they are, you know, property owners are being really, really cautious about, about it. And then, uh, and then you have a lot of other people you put into a really, really bad spot when, when lunch is 40, 50 bucks for one person in a lot of areas in LA and a family can't afford to eat and crime's not really being prosecuted, what do you think is going to happen? Crime is going to really, really start to ramp up and you're just going to start seeing a lot more bad behavior everywhere. So what I think is going to happen is I think we're going to see a lot of money leaving Los Angeles in the coming year or two. Uh, I think a lot of this money in LA might go to other parts of California, no doubt. Places maybe like in Malibu or, in, you know, in certain parts in San Diego and stuff like that. Um, you know, you're going to see a lot of money flowing around California and a lot of money flowing out of California because of what's unfolding inside of this city. There, you know, they'll talk about and being a little bit of crime and things like that on the, on the news. But when you actually come down here, when you actually walk around downtown LA, you'll realize that, uh, this place is not safe. I mean, when we, we got off our flight LAX, uh, yesterday, early morning, we got at the flight. We took the subway, the Metro, um, cause we are going to, uh, my wife's mom's house. We took the Metro, we get off the Metro and, uh, on the metro by the way everyone on there looked like they were like out of it you know what i mean and then uh we get on the metro to ride in their bike this guy's riding his bike he's got a crack pipe hanging right off of his wheel or uh his handlebar you can see it hanging right off there it's like wow going from japan experiencing what culture was there where you could go to jail for five years for being under the influence of the bob marley five years to here it's like a, it's a completely different world. It feels like a completely different planet. Um, it's a, I think to me, it's a signal of a lot of change to come for America, a lot of change to come for American cities. And I think that what we're likely gonna see here is we're gonna see erosion of these cities over the next couple of years, say so the next two, three years. And then we're gonna see an uprising of people inside of a lot of these cities where, uh, where they're gonna demand safety. They're gonna demand uh, change and that's when all the tech all these uh, sensors the cameras all this stuff is gonna come out because uh, because it will be the most cost-effective and it'll provide the most safety and security for the people here let me look at the look at this building here the buildings getting absolutely destroyed right and then what I think is gonna happen is as these cities are really starting to fall apart we're gonna see the rich and the wealthy run out here and acquire all these properties for pennies on the dollar when interest rates are really, really high. Doesn't make sense to buy them. Values are falling. People can't afford to buy. Um, they're going to step in here and start acquiring all, look at this building, acquiring all these properties for pennies on the dollar. Look at that. The next couple years, when I say there's great wealth transfer, great wealth transfer in American cities is coming. So when everybody is saying, don't, don't invest in it, you know, in these cities, don't invest, don't invest, don't invest. When you start really seeing these prices change, you start really seeing the panic and everyone saying, run away from American cities. Probably when you want to buy in these cities. I don't think it's now. I think prices are sky high. I think prices are crazy, especially in LA. But uh, I don't think it's going to stay like that. I think Jerome Powell is going to hike interest rates potentially again this year or at the very least, they're gonna keep them much higher for longer and bleed out the American people. When that happens, then you might be able to step in here and buy properties, but you wanna buy the right properties and you don't wanna run out here and, and buy multifamily out here where you have basically no control over your own, your own rentals. I mean, look at this. So it looks like they just took the graffiti off here. They just cleaned that off. But, uh, and they just, this, this restaurant, they just cleaned out some more graffiti there. But you get the idea. Like this isn't Skid Row. I'm not taking you to an area where it's like, oh, look how bad it is, you know? And then it's like Skid Row where everyone knows Skid Row is a disaster. Um, this is just, you know, in a pretty decent area of downtown LA. And this is what it looks like. 
like there's a there's a park here right i'm sure what that park probably looks like at night is different than what it looks like right now um the helicopter's flying all around um but that's downtown la in 2024 would you buy real estate here would you live here i wouldn't live here for three grand four grand for one bedroom that's for sure and i think a lot of people are on that same page that's why vacancies are so high and a lot of people are moving out but what i'm really really going to be watching is capital flight investors bailing and bailing and bailing from these cities there's another one for lease right there across the street you know more businesses more places bailing you know we we're driving just checking out other uh you know restaurants that we used to come to a couple years ago a lot of them are closed a lot of them are closed a lot of them didn't make it and i think it's because uh stuff like this they open up a business and there's a lot of destroy see all the graffiti on the entrance here there's a lot of destroy here how are you officer you know it's a uh, it's a shame what do you think about this entire situation drop below let's have a conversation about this and if you like to uh if you like to fix your credit you know we'd love to help you at my company greatcreditfast.com if you have late payments medical bills charge offs foreclosures bankruptcies repossessions or any negative item on your credit report go to greatcreditfast.com you can click the link in the description just below this video and schedule a free call i'm going to show you this one last thing here <coughs> yeah it's uh like look at this middle of daylight get free to hear these shops are all closed doesn't make sense to keep them open drop below let's have a conversation about this and i'll catch you next video